And then now I can. So you got 720, which is a source, 720, 480, 360, 160. Can, can you, do you guys have that on your screens? Let me know in the chat if you guys have that because it's going to help me out technically with the stream. I've been researching quite a bit lately. And, uh, you know, like I remember Neri was saying she was having troubles and that she got a lot of buffering when she's trying to watch me. Why well, I used to broadcast at 5,000 bit rates. It's there, Sap. Okay, cool. You guys should check your own channels when you stream. All right, that's good. Thank you, Saps, very much. That helps me out. You guys need to check this because when you start to stream, they don't give you the option to do this a lot of the times. Like as affiliates, we just get the scraps. This is usually an option for larger streamers who are already partnered, not for affiliates. The affiliates get all the scraps that come down from the tables. And that's very important. And why is it important? Because normally as a streamer, you can only broadcast if you're an affiliate at 3000 for your bit rate. That's three megabyte uh, upload speed, basically, for in layman's terms, which means that everybody can see you, but the quality of your stream might suffer. Because at three megabytes, you can do 720. To be honest, I don't think my stream has that because I'm not affiliate yet. And I will tell you what, Saps, I go to your stream and your quality is absolutely perfect. But here's my here's my thing to tell you guys. And this is something I'm going to show you here within the program that I'm in right now. A part of me, but this is it's actually important for people that are streaming. And, and I take time to, to help out people here. If you go into your file and you go into your settings, okay, and I'll show you this right here. If you guys do that, what ends up happening is, is this is what I'm talking about is your, your, uh, video that you're broadcasting at, which I'm broadcasting at 1280, 720. So 720. Okay. And the frame rates versus what you can output at. And your output is right here. Now, before when Neri and DY were telling me that they were having problems seeing me because of the buffer size or because, because it would buffer. Okay. It's because of the bit rate. Sorry, let me back up. They, they would go to my stream and they would just see a wheel spinning and they would only see a wheel spinning because my bit rate was very high. It was at 5,000 and their inter internet could not, uh, handle it or there was some type of issue there because my bit rate was so high. When I lowered it down to 3,000, what ended up happening is they were able to see me. Now this happens all over. This happens all over Twitch. Okay. The people who are partnered get the ability to not only raise their bit rate, but they have this transcoder on the right side of their screen, which is this over here. Let me go back. Now the, the partners usually get this. Okay. The, the affiliates will only get it if they meet some type of requirement that nobody seems to know. <laughs> so this is something reserved for partners and then some affiliates. So what ends up happening is if your bit rates over 3000, what ends up happening to you is that a lot of people are not being able to watch you because they're seeing a buffering circle wheel and it frustrates them and they leave. So then you have to lower it down to 3000. And if you don't have this transcoder over here, then people can't adjust where they're watching you at so that they don't have any buffering anymore. So, so for instance, if you have this transcoder, that means I can actually broadcast in the future at higher quality because people who are not able to watch me can then adjust it to a quality that they can watch. But if you don't have this transcoder, you're screwed. So I feel bad for people that don't have it. Now I didn't even know I had it. So you, so for instance, I would say anywhere from a bit rate of 3000 to 3,500, at 720 and everybody's able to see you. But if you're broadcasting anything higher than that without a transcoder, then people are not going to watch because they're gonna get a buffering circle. And not having the transcoder is life or death because then the quality of your stream suffers, you get pixelation, and nobody's gonna to wanna to watch anybody that doesn't have like a decent quality stream. And it's like a catch 22, which is something I think I might make a video over. And in fact, I think I just made the video and it probably will post this to YouTube because it's important information for everybody to know out there. So you just watch us on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, click subscribe. If you want some more help, if you want to come in the network, let me know. Great stuff. I'm, I'm multitasking here. Wow. Two birds, one stone. Did you see what I did there? Is everybody still with me? <laughs> Back to this 